unless this is a different one. Here it goes. And what they'll do is they'll sometimes use their feet and their toes. There we go. You can see how it's, it's using its feet and its toes to detect any movements. And then as soon as it feels something, with incredible agility and speed, its beak darts into the water and tries to latch onto it. The name Hammerkop means hammerhead in Dutch or Afrikaans. And as you can see, it head does have a very distinctive hammer shape. Come on, get another one for us. So this is, looks to be the ideal hunting grounds for this bird. It's not too deep. Just touching its belly. And of course, the main thing will be that its prey... Oh, I thought it had one. Is that its prey has got nowhere to hide. This little drying up puddle means... If this hummer corp spends long enough here, it'll be able to catch everything out of the pond. I think it may have one there. The fact that its wings stayed out for so long. But I couldn't couldn't be sure. It probably wouldn't have been able to swallow it that quickly. So I think we're good. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to reposition ever so slightly. Because we, we can't get VM a better, better angle. Oh, it's got one. Look at that, a catfish. You can see the whiskers. Wow! Now, this is going to be an interesting, interesting scenario. Because that fish is big. So let's see how easily the Hummer Corp initially dispatches it, which it's trying to do now. Not very effectively, but that looks like it may be a better... Ooh. It may try and also flick it against a branch or a rock to try and kill it. Shame this poor catfish is not in for... pleasant way to go. I think this may take some time, so for any of the sensitive viewers, I do apologize, but this is nature, and it's imperative for this bird to survive that it eats. Sadly for this little catfish, it's the end of the road. So, for the chefs out there, you could almost say that the, the hummer cop is dusting the fish in a batter of coarse sand. Not your average batter, but for the hummer cop, I guess it's going to be the spice of the day. Now, I'm just not convinced by this hummer cop's method of dispatching the fish because it seems like it's doing more damage to the end of its beak than the actual fish every time it hits into the ground. So maybe this is a young homocorp that's still learning the ways of the wild. But to be honest, it's not the only predator who hasn't got the art of dispatching their prey down to tea. Many predators out there have not got the most effective or efficient or kind ways, you could say, of killing their prey. But that doesn't make them bad animals or, or horrible creatures. Again, I guess it's just the way of the wild. Hello, Lara. You would like to know if these birds are related to herons and possibly very distant relatives, I would guess. Um, but I don't think I, I don't think so. Um, they're quite different uh, in terms of their anatomy. Even though they are similar in that they have long, long legs and they do hunt fish or aquatic animals, I just think they are probably a little bit too different to be related. But happy for any of you out there who may know the answer of that to share it with us. Now, I'm sure a lot of you agree with me that 
the first part of this puzzle. Oh, here we go. I thought it was, it looks like it may be getting ready to swallow it. It will swallow it head first, so it'll line it up perfectly in the beak and then flip its head back and attempt to swallow it. Although, like I said, all of you probably agree that it's quite a big mouthful to swallow in one sitting, especially now that it's covered in a coat of sand. That's certainly not going to help the process. Hello to Nancy. Um, you would like to know if the sand may, once it does reach the belly eventually, that's covered on that catfish, will it possibly aid in digestion? And that's a good question. I guess it's not going to aid in the initial consumption of this fish. And I'm not convinced that it will help with digestion. I think uh, birds like this that do have to swallow their prey whole have got very, very strong digestive juices, which will be able to break down that little fish completely. Having said that though, there are certain birds that do carry stones or small bits of sand in their crop to help uh, help digestion, but those are usually the grain-eating birds as far as I'm aware. Now what I can tell you is that catfish, even a catfish of that size, have got a very, very hard head. They've got a very big flat bone around their skull, on the top of their head. And I know this because it's often the only part of a catfish carcass that you find. Once they are caught and killed by other animals, and sometimes even leopards will hunt them in drying up ponds like this, it's just that top piece of their skull that's left behind. Oh, here goes. Oof. Good luck. It's going faster than I thought it would, but let's see what happens, because it's early days. Oh. Oh, that doesn't look easy, and I think we have got ourselves a scenario that could take a while to play out. Imagine having to do that. I mean, the fish is barely dead. It's covered in sand. Oh, take two. Not quite ready. So, as I said, this is going to be a good test, but I think it's going to come and rinse it in the water. Now, that would show some very good thinking. And I think that's exactly what we're going to see happen. Another question has just come through. I didn't catch who it was from, but you'd like to know if this battering of the fish is helping to kind of make it a bit softer and therefore easier to digest. And Marion, I don't actually think so. I think the main aim of, of, of this is to actually kill the fish so that it doesn't wriggle around once it gets into the bird's stomach because that could obviously cause a lot of damage to the internal organs and stomach lining of, of, of the bird. Like most fish, they've got fins and some sharp, kind of sharp bony fins that could possibly puncture the bird's stomach if it wasn't properly killed first. Shame that poor little catfish, but I think the end is in sight for it now seems to be moving considerably less. The interesting thing with catfish is that keeping them out of water is not going to kill them. They can survive for hours out of water due to the fact that, oh, here goes, that's looking better. Oh, that cannot feel good though. Look at the way it cocked its head there. You can just imagine how that feels. A very, very sandy fish being swallowed whole. Go on. Oh, oh, have you done it? You've done it. Or well, have you? I don't think it's sure yet. <laughs> oh, gosh. I mean, 
mean, you can see it's just trying to swivel and probe its head and readjust its body to make its, I guess its esophagus as straight as possible so that fish can, fish can slide down. Looking promising. Relief. And is it going to head straight back into the pond to try and get another one? Let me just move forward. There's a vehicle behind us trying to get past. And we will pull over for them and then we will come back and have a quick look at it. We were stopped on a little bridge there. Oh wow, VM, have a quick look across there. There's some canaries in the grass.